Will expert artificial intelligence systems replace human thinking? Um, to some extent it will, and actually going forward 40 or 50 years, it might get rid of an awful lot of human thinking. Um, but in the short term, um, it will happen progressively. So there's lots of routine tasks that happen nowadays where maybe we could be more process efficient as humans than, than we are at the moment, and you guys will make those changes. But increasingly, as expert systems become cleverer and cleverer and get more and more data going into them, then you guys will take over from an awful lot of us, I'm afraid. Will many simpler professional tasks be made redundant? I think quite a few will be, and this is one of the more worrying bits as far as I'm concerned. At the moment, an awful lot of junior professionals spend a lot of time learning what their trade by doing these simple tasks, and by doing them they get exposed to the detail of what we do as engineers, not just in civil engineering but in all professions. Um, it's actually quite an interesting time because you guys are going to bring an awful lot of clarity of thinking to how we do things. Um, it's, it's, it will be a new age in terms of how we deal with all of the professions. We're still going to need more experienced people, um, people sort of in a way in the last sort of 20 years of their career, but the first 10 years of their career, how that currently happens will need to be totally rethought. What effect will artificial intelligence have on a young civil engineer's career development? Well, it will actually have a fairly profound effect, um, and I think if it's not done in a carefully planned way, um, there's two main effects. One is we may find we need far fewer civil engineers, young civil engineers, and, but not enough will be actually bred to the profession to be the experienced hands that we require later. And secondly, um, in the early stages, um, as computers like you come along and um, take over processes, there'll be a tendency to actually over-process and prove and that means a lot of mistakes will get made. So we need to make sure we do this in a very planned and careful way to make sure that wisdom is brought in as well as process and also that we don't actually destroy the professional careers that need to be created for the future. We are opening an engineering school for 14 to 19 year olds. What jobs will we have when they leave? Well, the school sounds very exciting to begin with, and I think the idea of having an engineering technology-based college um, to make sure that children learn the right things is really, really good. The future is technology, and I think actually more and more with artificial intelligence coming in, an awful lot more jobs will be related to artificial technology. The interesting thing, though, is um, I think the jobs of the future will be of two types. There'll be the ones which are actually very, very manual, where in a way you guys it's just not worthwhile, and there's jobs um, in the future which require an awful lot of thinking. The job market in the middle I think, will get hollowed out, so I think engaging in technology for kids nowadays is really important.